Well, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome here to the launch pad. You are looking at a live view of Starbase Texas, where SpaceX has loaded some propellant onto Starship S-29 in preparation for what we believe to be a static fire test here this afternoon. If it's your first time here, welcome. My name is Zach. I'm the founder and host here at the launch pad. We've been monitoring the situation and monitoring the weather. It's a little bit of a hazier day down at Starbase, but most of the haze is cleared off enough for us to see that propellant frost line on Starship and some of the venting and we are imminently waiting a static fire. We did hear reports that there was a small siren heard down in the village uh, but uh, we're waiting at that point we would be less than five minutes from the expected static fire. There is also a drone in the air ready to record today's test. This is the ship that will be used on Starship Flight 4. Uh, flight test four, excuse me. If it's your first time here, though, welcome. My name is Zach here at the launch pad. It's our mission to inform and inspire the explorers of tomorrow because we believe that space is better together, and we're glad to have you joining us here. Take a moment, let us know in the chat where you're watching from. Engage that like button, share out the stream, invite people to join us as we continue to monitor. This is uh, our first 24 7 camera down at Starbase, and we are working to expand this to bring more online over the coming months, and we're only able to do that thanks to your generous support in watching and sharing uh, and hitting that join button and becoming a TLP member. So if you like seeing this type of coverage, make sure that you subscribe so you never miss it again. We are going to be working on providing more live commentary coverage of events happening down at Starbase over the coming weeks. And if you're interested in becoming a Starbase live commentator, a launch commentator, or a moderator, consider sending in us an application. There'll be a link in the chat right now that you'll be able to fill in, and we would be excited to welcome some more of you onto our TLP volunteer crew as we continue to work for our mission to inform and inspire the explorers of tomorrow because we believe that space is better together. You can see the venting really picking up around the vehicle, which is a good sign. We can see really only a frost line on the bottom half of the ship. We're not seeing a frost line as clearly for the top half of the ship where the methane tank. This is commonly due to how the shape is filled on the inside. There is that common dome section and the propellant tube, uh, which holds quite a bit of propellant, so it doesn't always reach actually the edge of the ship when they're doing one of these static fires. Methane can be very combustible, so it's something that they limit on board uh, to make sure that uh, if there was an issue, they limit the impact to the environment in the area and to the test facility uh, using basically just the fuel that they actually have to have on board. As we continue to monitor, if you guys have questions, you can send those in the chat by taking us at the launch pad and we'll work on answering those live to the best of our ability. Lots of people just tuning in from around the world. Take a moment, let us know in the chat where you are watching from. I see we've got uh, Giovanni in San Diego. We got D in Toronto. Uh, we got Dundagda in Ireland. Sorry if I said that wrong. We got Linda in Georgia. Great to have you here. Thanks so much for joining us. Uh, Space Sailors is asking when will the static fire test start? Well, we are in the middle of the test. As propellant loading has taken place, we are in that timeline. SpaceX does not give us exact timelines uh, or T-zeros for these tests, but uh, based on all of our knowledge of previous tests, we can have a rough idea. We do suspect that we are within probably about five minutes of the uh, suspected targeted T-zero or test zero for today's test just based on everything that we've seen and reports that there was a siren heard in the village. Now, uh, it was apparently a very short siren, so something that uh, we normally hear a little bit of a longer siren. For those that are new to Starbase testing, this is a live view uh, from a few miles away. The beach has been closed and cleared, so is the road uh, in preparation for today's static fire test. A static fire test is when we don't want to see, and there we have confirmation of static fire. With a little to no warning, that looked like a good, clean static fire lasting about three seconds. An incredible view, clear from our very own TLP 24-7 camera. We will get that up on a clip uh, over on our X as well as on our YouTube for those that want to watch a replay. But if you're just joining us, SpaceX has just performed a static fire test of Starship S-29. We're reviewing the uh, views to see how many engines 
it looked like we saw uh, Ignite there, uh, as there are six engines on board. It does look like the three center engines, the three sea level engines, are what were ignited on board S-29. So uh, great to see a successful static fire of Starship S-29 and the ship standing there strong and proud like it, nothing even happened. This is a really new era of space exploration and we're so glad that you joined us for that uh, very quick coverage. Ian, scared the half to death, I thought it exploded. Uh, yes, very short notice. We are working on getting cameras closer uh, on the ground uh, to the pad which will give us some live audio in the area which will give us a little bit more warning uh that the static fire is about to happen so make sure you stay tuned for those cameras uh rolling out in the coming months and again i said that's only thanks to your guys's generous support but if you're just joining us spacex has successfully conducted a static fire test of starship s29 they do have a 12 hour period uh for the uh, road closure for testing with the beach closure that opened at 8 a.m. and runs till 8 p.m. We uh, have seen them go for multiple tests before so we're going to keep an eye on the ship and see what happens but uh, most of the time we just see one static fire. We are reviewing the uh, data there on uh, how many engines uh, lit. Well, hopefully SpaceX will confirm uh, how many. And reviewing it back, it actually looks like all six. The three sea levels ignited first, uh, and then the three vacuums ignited uh, just a moment later, which is what we have seen happen before. But a uh, really fantastic static fire test down there at Starbase. If you guys have questions, you can send those in the chat by taking us at the launch pad, and we will work on answering those live to our best of our ability for the next few minutes while we wait to see if they go for another round of testing or if we see that depress vent uh, and the conclusion of today's testing opportunities. Uh, it does look like we have some large vents coming from the side of the ship, uh, but that could just be the safing as well. Uh, Greg Albert, what did they just do? See if the starter worked. So this is what's called a static fire test. NASA calls them hot fire tests sometimes if they're not on a vehicle. Uh, but it is a igniting of the engines to uh, prove that out on a pad uh, the vehicle is still working. So all these engines are tested on test stands when they are developed uh, and built. But once they're installed on a vehicle, they need to prove that they work. And they want to prove that they work before they actually need them to work. So SpaceX conducts static fire tests of all of its engines, uh, sometimes multiple times, uh, before stacking and before flight uh, of any Starship or even Falcon 9 vehicle. Falcon 9 is so reliable now, they don't static fire every Falcon 9 on the launch pad. They sometimes use just the certification one when it was developed or refurbished uh, out at uh, the McGregor test stand uh, for that now, but uh, they used to pre uh, post launch static fire every rocket then so um that's something that they've uh, kind of stepped away from now that they're one having such a quick turnaround uh and two are such a reliable vehicle and maybe one day we'll see that with starship but at this point it uh is nothing yet uh just your average rocket nerd has starship ever blown up during a static fire uh, I don't think we've ever had an explosion during a static fire in itself. I'd have to rem look back and confirm that. We have had overpressurizations where uh, a tank has burst, but those were normally during burst tests. Um, we had a surprise static fire with Booster 4 where something ignited it during a spin prime. Um, but we did not... I don't believe we've ever had something actually explode... Uh, during when they were trying to do a static fire but uh, really great question thanks for sending that in catching up on the chat uh, we did alpha we were live for the Soyuz MS-25 docking and Michael thanks for joining us yes it did just happen we have had a static fire test of Starship S-29. We're going to wrap up our live commentary coverage. If you're watching on a stream that says 24-7 cam, don't go anywhere. We'll be keeping a close eye on S-29 and the orbital launch site as we continue to count down to flight test 4 
of Starship expected to take place is six to eight weeks or so from now, all dependent on that FAA investigation. If you're watching on the stream that says Starship S29 Static Fire Test, thank you so much for joining us. Make sure you engage that subscribe button and join us over on our 24-7 camera. And if you'd like to help support what we do and expand our cameras and bring even better quality coverage, you can hit that join button, 99 cents below. Changes your name to green, gets you that TLP helmet next to you, and some other benefits as well, and we're super grateful. But even just watching, liking, and sharing, that is a huge support. That's going to do it from our TLP Canada studio where I'm hosting from. We will see you next time because space is better together. And let's go back to Starbase 24-7 and watch and see what happens following today's successful static fire test of S-29. We'll see you there.